when we're talking about gene regulation, it's to, you have to remember that a gene is a short segment or a short sequence of DNA. And so a gene is a unit of hereditary and think of a gene as a trait. So any trait that you might have, whether you are tall, whether you have brown eyes, these are all controlled by genes. And the turning on and turning off of these genes is what gives us our traits. So gene expression is basically the turning on of that gene. And gene regulation is how a gene gets turned on at a specific time. For the basis of this uh, talk, I'll be talking about eukaryotic gene transcription. Every cell in your body has the same DNA, which means it has the same genes, okay? And so when your cells migrate, this is during the development process, when your cells migrate to certain areas in the embryo, it gets certain cues to turn on a specific gene or turn off that specific gene. And those cues then help tell the cell if it's gonna develop into a lung cell, if it's gonna develop into a heart cell, if it's gonna develop into an eye cell, brain cell, muscle cell, and so on and so forth. So the central dogma is you have your DNA, which is then transcribed into your RNA, which is then translated into your protein. In gene regulation, you have your RNA polymerase, which is transcribing the DNA into an RNA message, also known as mRNA for transcription to initiate. It has to have some sequence or some site on that gene to know where to bind. So where would the polymerase know where to bind? This is where the promoter, which is specific for each gene, comes into play. And so once the RNA polymerase sees that promoter, it binds to that promoter, and then it starts the transcription process of that gene. So when we have gene regulation, okay, we not only have, you know, sites on the DNA that lets the RNA polymerase know where to bind, but you also have different segments on that gene called enhancers and silencers that also affect how that gene is turned on or turned off. Enhancers are specific segments of DNA that basically increases the amount of gene expression that you have or the rate of gene expression that you have. And then next, you have another segment on that gene called silencers. It will then turn off or slow down that rate of gene expression. In eukaryotic gene regulation, there are multiple levels in where that gene can be controlled. You have the epigenetic level, which is the higher level up that's on the DNA itself. And then the transcriptional regulation, you can have the effect on the promoter, the effect on the enhancer, the effect of the silencer, okay? And then the post-transcriptional regulation, how that messenger RNA is then processed. And then you can also control it at the translational level and how that protein is actually being made, and then the post-translational level, how that three-dimensional shape of that protein is being affected. Another level in which, you know, gene expression can be controlled is through transcription factors. So these transcription factors, which are proteins, okay, then can bind to either parts of the regulatory element in in that segment of DNA, whether it is the promoter region, whether it is the enhancer region, or whether it is the silencer region. So if these transcription factor comes in and binds to the promoter, it can either tell the RNA polymerase, hey, bind here at a tighter rate, and so that would increase the rate of transcription. Or these transcription factors can bind to the promoter and block the RNA polymerase from coming and binding. And that goes the same way with how transcription factors work with 
the enhancer portion. These transcription factors when bind to the enhancer region can even increase the gene expression of that gene even more, okay? As well as when these transcription factors are binding to the silencing part of that regulatory element, it can silence that gene even more. All of that encompasses gene regulation.